With campaigning about to kick into high gear, focus will also be on the issue of party hopping. Malaysia's political system has been plagued for decades by politicians jumping from one party to another. But for this round, a new anti-party hopping law will put a stop to such activities. So will those who betray the mandate given to them in 2018 be punished at the ballot box this time round? We ask CNA's Pamela Lim to find out. Political treachery runs deep in Malaysian politics and is being played up by both sides of the aisle even before official campaigning began. Khianat mandat rakyat. Putikam kawan kamu sendiri. Kamu menggalakkan budaya lompat. Kita All eyes are on Azmin Ali, former Minister of International Trade and Industries, who is seen as a prime mover of the infamous Sheraton move that triggered the fall of Pakatan Harapan government. He will be seeking his third consecutive term as Member of Parliament for Gomba, and he said he has no regrets switching sides. Dasar dasar mereka, dasar yang dendam kesumat kepada rakyat, dasar yang tidak peduli masalah rakyat. Apatah lagi di kampung, di desa, di luar bandar. Kalau kami duduk dan kekal dalam Pakatan Harapan, itulah pengkhianat kepada rakyat dan umat sebenarnya. Standing in his way is his former mentee, the current Menteri Besar or Chief Minister of Selengo. He's determined to reclaim the seat for Pakatan Harapan. Azmin and the friend have to accept that the people of Malaysia really affected by the instability created and started by them. We are changing from Prime Minister, the emergency call and order, that the rush election. Most of these so-called traitors who are holding various posts as caretaker ministers are throwing their hats in the ring. They are seeking fresh mandate from the people, despite the risk of being punished through the ballot box. <laughs> So apabila dia orang naik, adakah dia orang ingat jasa kita? Pendirian tak tetap. Anda kata ada sesuatu benda yang terjadi kat Malaysia, macam mana orang macam ni? Kompong-kompong macam ni mesti hilang dulu. But analysts say the verdict is still out and these candidates could benefit from the incumbency advantage. Being an MP there for uh, years, he has built a strong uh, political base uh, in Gomba and he also has the support of uh, past members uh, in the constituency. So he has a strong chance of uh, retaining the seat. With multi coloured fights all around and the birth of new political parties, GE15 is said to be one of the most polarised in history and voters may just decide based on candidate capabilities rather than party affiliations.